For this review, I'm going to go back to Star Wars for a little bit because I've got a lot of Star Wars crap and it needs to get unboxed and set up on my shelf. This is the Star Wars Epa 3 Revenge of the Sith Clone Trooper Mini Helmet by Master Replicas. And it's really cool. It is, or should be, extremely screen accurate. Um, it's also, I believe, a 145th scale. Not 145th scale, a 0.45 scale. There's a difference. Yeah, it's a little dusty, but... Um, not a lot to say about it, except that it looks really cool. Um, it's very detailed. It's got some cool... Greebles and who's its and whatnots on here. The breathing, the respirator filters, whatever they call those, I don't remember. It's got a nice... I don't like this super duper extra cheap turntable I bought at Walmart for 10 bucks. I'll have to buy a good one someday. Um, it's got a neat little stand with a with the name on it and lets you pose it a little bit if you want, although why you would want your clone trooper quirking his head at you inquisitively like that, I don't know. So this thing is nice and weighty and it's a little dirty. It's got a nice uh, heft to it. The stand is attached firmly by means of a springy plastic claw that reaches over top of that. The base has some weight to it on its own, but the helmet also has some some weight. It's mostly plastic, but that's also plastic. But inside, um, inside it's got. Let's see if I can get the light in there. There we go. Inside it's got lots of neat details. And this is one of the reasons why I'm fascinated by these helmets. They are not just looking good on the outside, but they look um, in-universe how the designs would look on the inside. Obviously, the actual helmets didn't look like this on the inside because they were just plastic buckets that they put on their helmets. Um, there you can see how the stand attaches. You can, you can see out the, uh, the lens if you can see it's translucent. Of course, you can't really see anything there because it's dark. Um, but anyway, so that's that's that. I have uh, I have a few of these. Uh, slam. You don't really take them off the stand very often. I started with the Riddell Darth Vader helmet, which uh, they also did a Stormtrooper and a Boba Fett, which is really hard to find for a good price anymore, unfortunately. So I don't have a Boba Fett helmet still. But I have a couple other Clone Trooper ones, Darth Vader, that I'll eventually review someday. Um, I do not remember the price. 35 maybe $40 on these. A little more expensive than the Mini Sabres, which I collect. Um, especially since the Mini Sabres could usually be had for cheaper on eBay. The helmets, not as much, although anymore now they could be. I don't know. But nice little, uh, nice little display collectible. Here's uh, Denim again as a size comparison. Doesn't really take up too much space and not crazy expensive like the full size helmets are that are you know, several hundred dollars. So if you are into Star Wars and you like prop replicas and you want some nice small ones for cheap, I recommend this. And I have nothing more to say about it, so thanks for watching. Alright, we'll just look at all of these Clone Trooper ones in one review. These are the other two Clone Trooper helmets I have. Clone Commander Gree's helmet and the Utapao Shadow Trooper helmet. Um, the only difference between these and the, the white default Clone Trooper is the paint job. Um, he's got his nice Kashyyyk style camo, lots of good silvers, some green and modeling, and a beautiful metallic green visor. That's just really cool. I love that. Um, inside, it all looks the same. Let's pull this light out again and see if we can't see it a little better. Um, one thing I did not mention is that this is soft, squishy foam. And this is 
has a rubbery texture to it, like it actually might be a rubber hose. And this is metal. And some other stuff in here is plastic or metal or various different types of material. This outer ring is a rubbery material. So it's not all just plastic sculpted to look a specific way. It actually is, some of it is the material you would expect it to be. Gives it a nice little extra weight and heft. And Let's see if we can't horribly attach this. Lovely sound. So that's Commander Gree, who, if you watched episode 3, served on Kashyyyk with Yoda, and Yoda cut his head off. So you could even say, this is his head. Um, the Utapau Shadow Trooper, I think, um, unless I'm horribly mistaken, is just based off of a design of a toy that was originally a Target exclusive, the Utapau Shadow Clone Trooper. It's a really cool deco, black, with some gray and silver on it. I really liked it. The figure was originally Target exclusive, hard to get. I ended up getting a number of them through various means. I think I've sold most of them off now, but I even got a, a couple of custom figures painted up. I don't think I showed it off in my Gentle Giant mini bust because I had forgotten I had it and it was packed away somewhere else. But I even had one of those Gentle Giant 6-inch mini busts custom up in this deco, and it looks really good. Um, the thing that stands out the most is he's got a nice red-orange visor. I think this was available exclusively from Rager's Edge Collectibles, who I used to buy a lot of statues and Mebus from back when I still collected Star Wars stuff more. If I had to guess, this one is harder to get a hold of because it wasn't exclusive. I don't know about Gree. But I don't know either. I haven't, I haven't looked into these for a while. I've had these for years. But they're really cool. Um, good decos, again, nice compact size for displaying, plus significantly cheaper than the full size ones. I, like I said, I think these were 45 ish. This one was probably, might have been 55 because it wasn't exclusive. But anyway, they're cool. I like them.